Hello my dear family members, today's session is going to be very exceptional. Trust me, no one will conduct this type of class really. In this video, I am going to cover one important chapter from networking for Capgemini assessment with this year and previous year on campus questions on those topics. This is the first video. If you want the second one, then please comment below. If you try to skip any moment of this video, then you are going to miss an important part without any doubt. Today, we will cover the chapter basics of networking. So let's start with the first question. But before proceeding, I would like to inform you that I have prepared a prime materials for Capgemini. If you want, then knock me at main stuff, right? So let's start. So the first question will look like this. What is the purpose of the OSI model in networking? So among the options, one will be the correct. So please opt that. So OSI model look like this, right? And TCP IP model look like this. So I hope you have a little knowledge, though I will explain whatever you have learned, right? Okay, in this case, the answer will be actually option B, right? To provide a standardized framework for understanding networking protocols and their functions. This is the purpose of OSI model in networking. So before you proceed to the next question, I would request you to please pause the video and read the responsibilities of each layer. So the physical layer's responsibilities are these encoding, signaling, voltage levels, physical connectivity and data layer, data link layer responsibilities are these error detection, framing, MAC address assignment, network layer responsibilities are logical addressing, path determination, routing, packet forwarding and responsibilities of transport layer, segmentation, reassembly, error checking and port addressing, session layer responsibilities are these and presentation layer responsibilities are encryption, data, data translation and application layer trans, uh, responsibilities are these, right? So on the basis of the function of each layer, you uh, may have questions uh, regarding that, right? So please pause the video and Please give me the answer of the quiz. Which OSI model layer is responsible for routing packets between different networks? It was asked in the last on-campus drive. I mean on the August drive, right? So please pause and give me the answer. I hope you have paused the video earlier and watched the function of each layer, right? Okay, the next question is this, right? Which of the following IP address classes is used for multicast? addresses okay before i answer just let me show you the table of each classes and their functions so at first the ranges are like class a lies between 0 to 127 class b 128 to 191 class c 192 to 223 class d 224 to 239 class e 242 to 55 bit right so rest of the bits are 0 to 255 right just different in the first bit right okay then uh, the functions of class a class b and class c are mentioned here mainly class d and class e functions are highly important right actually uh, the class d reserved for multicast group communication and class e reserved for experimental and research purposes right okay let me show you the actual question and on the basis of the table please give me the answer which of the following ip address classes is used for multicast address so as you got to know the class d will be the correct answer in this case right all the questions which i am showing to you most of them were asked in the last august drive right so please pause and always try to give the answer before i answer right Okay, let's just answer a quiz question that is what IP address class does the address 225.101.0.205 belong to? This question was asked in last off campus drive 2023. Please give me the answer in the comment section. Hello my dear family members. I am very happy to inform you that the prime materials for Capgemini is ready now in which I have included all the previous technical questions from DSA networking security, cloud computing, pseudocode and computer fundamentals and all the coding questions along with the previous year game based aptitudes. So if you want then knock me at my Insta ID instagram.com slash techno.uf 
i will provide you so let's go to the next question that is what is the purpose of subnetting in ip addressing to create smaller more manageable network segments within a large network to encrypt data transmission to establish direct connections between devices to increase the speed of trans data transmission what will be the correct answer okay let me answer that option a will be the correct answer in this case subnetting is used to create smaller network segments within a large network improving network management and addressing efficiency right okay let's just go to the next question that will be more clear to you right which type of ip address is used to identify the network itself rather than individual device within the network so let me answer that uh, public ip address will be the correct in this case actually a public ip address uh, is used to identify networks on the internet while private ip addresses are used for individual devices within a network right okay let's just go to the next question which network topology connects all devices in a linear fashion with each device connected to exactly two other devices so the image shows the answer right so ring topology will be the correct in this case in in a ring topology each device is connected to exactly two other devices in a linear fashion i mean all the names are suggesting what will be the answer right so if you know the english meaning of star or english meaning of ring bus or how they look like then you will be able to answer the question okay let's just uh, give a quiz question guys whatever i am showing to you as quiz please give me the answer in a single comment so that i can uh, summarize your answer right okay which network topology connects all devices to a central hub or switch with each device having its own dedicated connection to the central device okay just imagine how star look like how ring look like how bus look like how mesh look like right so you will be able to answer the question okay i don't have to explain this further i hope this is clear to you okay the next question is what is the purpose of mac address in networking to identify a device on the internet to determine the physical location of a device to uniquely identify a network interface card nic to define the ip address of a device what will be the correct in this case okay let me answer that option c will be correct in this case a mac or media access control address is a unique identifier assigned to a network interface card nic to distinguish it from other devices on the network right okay just to go to the next question that is what is the primary advantage of using ipv6 over ipv4 in modern tech networking okay without reading the options i am giving the answer before you answer right okay option b will be correct because uh, this probably be secondary functions or secondary advantage of the ipv6 right but primary functions or primary advantages is this ipv6 has a larger address space reducing the need for net or network address translation right okay the next question is which protocol is commonly used for secure remote login and file transfer over a network here the confusion creates file transfer right just hearing the file transfer many many one will give ftp but this will not be the answer that's why they tricked it right okay let's just read all the functions of all protocols then it will be clear to you so the hypertext transfer protocol http is used for this https and https is for a secure version of http and uh, read, pause the video and read others right what i am skipping and smtp is used for mail transferring purpose and ftp is used for file transfer protocol i mean file transferring purpose and ssh is a secure cell which provides secure remote access and secure file transfer over an encrypt over an encrypted connection right so whatever i have written in the table can you answer what will be the correct 
the SSH, SSH will be the correct answer or SSH is the protocol which is commonly used for secure remote login and file transfer of our network, right? This will be the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which device is responsible for forwarding data packets between different networks in a network infrastructure, router, switch, hub, or modem? Okay, before I answer, let me show you a few theoretical knowledge. That is, what is switch? Switch forwards data frames within a local network based on MAC addresses providing efficient and intelligent data transmission. And what is hub? Hub is actually passively broadcast data to all devices in a network segment lacking intelligence to selectively transmit data and uh, the modems are modems which converts digital data from computers into analog signals for transmission over analog communication lines and vice versa right so actually the answer will be in this case router right so router is a device that is responsible for forwarding data packets between different networks in a network infrastructure right Actually, my friends, whatever questions are asked in the previous year and in this year from all the topics of this chapter, I mean from basics of network, uh, I am summarizing all the questions in a single video, right? And in the next video, I will cover the next chapter with all the previous year question and the current year questions, right? Okay, let's go to the next question that is. Okay, the next question will be look like this, right? You will be given a website and you have to tell what is the segment called, right? So actually in a website, the, this segment is called a protocol. This segment is called subdomain and this segment is called domain. This is TLD or top level domain and this is the path or directory. And after the question mark, this is query parameters, right? Let's say and lens.google.com, right? So lens will be the, the subdomain, Google will be the domain, and .com will be the top level domain, right? And this is all together a host, or if this is dot in, this is also a top level domain, right? So if you understood what are the segments called, then please give me the answer in the comment section. What is the answer of this question? Actually, this question was asked in the last on-campus drive, August, right? So, please pause and give me the answer. Otherwise, it will not be helpful, right? I hope you love this session. So, if you found this video helpful, then please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding. And don't forget to share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this. And if you want the prime materials, then please knock me at my Instagram ID, instagram.com slash techno.tv. Thank you.